I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 94 on our around the world trip. We are here in Dakar, Senegal, and we've been staying in this little room up there in this beautiful area in the north part of the city called Yoff. We have a really, really short but very exciting day today. Yeah, let me show you guys where we're heading today. Okay, so we are here in Dakar. And today we are going to be making our way to the south side of the Cape Verde Peninsula, right at the bottom here, to the container port. Yes, today is the day, the final ride here in Africa with Bumblebee. <laughs> Sad and happy at the same time. <laughs> But we gave Bumblebee a really, really good uh, scrub yesterday, so check that out. It's shining! <laughs> <laughs> and Chris, you will be very proud of us when you see the chain. Yes, we thought we would give Bumblebee a nice wash and give that chain a really good oil so that Bumblebee can be ready for the next leg in South America. <laughs> it will be really interesting to see what we have to do now at the port and we will take you with us. We have just five miles to go, so better hit the road. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this is an exciting one. Woo! Yeah, there we go. I'm ready for you. Good morning. All right, we ready to fire up? Fire up! <laughs> Power on! <laughs> Rock and roll. Rock and roll then. Whoa, this windshield is so clean. I can actually see through it for the first time in ages. Amazing. <laughs> Don't drop the bike. <laughs> yeah, and it's actually, <laughs> It is quite sandy on this road, to be honest. Yeah, it is. Okie dokie. Whee! So we have to join the main road in a minute. That means we have to slide left over this amazing junction, which is just sand and uh, potholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really understand why they, they build such a lot of nice apartments and nice houses around but then they don't put any focus on the roads to connect everything together. Yeah, I, I mean, mean look, this is like a major, a major junction here and it's just covered in sand. Yeah. Okay, straight? Yeah. Well, we have Bumblebee pretty empty with gear. We just left in the panniers everything that's going to stay on the bike in the container. So Bumblebee feels really light today. Yeah, it feels like a different bike when it's not loaded. Yeah, it's amazing how much difference it can make loading up the panniers. Hey, yes, wow. Absolutely. That's the reason it's always good to check every item, what you have on your trip and think about if you really need it or not. <laughs> Yeah, because even though you don't have to physically carry it because the motor is doing all the work, it still makes a big difference to the way the bike is handling the way that you ride, really. Yeah. You can feel it today. So we're taking all the electronics, all the valuables uh, and a couple of other bits and bobs. We're taking that on the plane with us and the rest of it is being left on Bumblebee and it'll hopefully all be there in Brazil when we pick her up again. That's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the busy streets of Dakar, the busy exhaust fume covered streets. Whoa, look at this bike. Nice. Honda Africa. Yes. Cool. Wow, what a bike. 
Yeah, it was a really crazy experience here in Africa. We saw a lot of amazing things, a lot of scary things. <laughs> I will definitely miss it. But I'm super excited as well to reach another continent. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to be able to relax until we actually get Bumblebee in that container. Because this whole shipping container to Brazil has been like this whole mythical thing over the last couple of months. It's like, does it exist? Are we going to be able to do it? Because of course we had issues with the shipping where we were supposed to do roll on roll off but then it was changed to a container and then we had to pay like an extra two or three thousand euro so it was always a little bit oh we're driving down the coast of africa but are we actually going to be able to get bumblebee off the coast and on to the next leg and now finally we just have a couple more miles and then we'll actually be there at the <laughs> container port with Bumblebee ready to drop her off. <laughs> yeah, super, super exciting days. <gasps> wow, it's crazy, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, Dakar has been like so far ahead of us for such a long time. When we were just uh, coming into the south of Morocco and we saw that sign that was like Dakar, 1,400 kilometers or something. Dakar! Oh my god, we still have a long way to go. But now look, we're here, we're <laughs> in Dakar. We're right coming up to the container port very shortly. Yeah, this is absolutely awesome. We have to turn left in 0 0.3. Okay, perfect, thank you. Oh, look at this junction. <laughs> yes! Here we go. Here we go. Are you getting here? Okay, the guy's telling us just, <laughs> just to go through here, but there's no way I'm going to be able to make that, so... Okay, okay. should I... Um... I think you'll just have to lift it up for me, my love. Okay. We're going to lift up our own barrier here at the port. <laughs> the guy was just like, yeah, yeah, just, just go, just lift it up. So here we are. This is it. This is the container port. Let's put Bumblebee about here. <laughs> there we go. CMA CGM Terminal Container Dakar. Let's talk to them and see if it's real. <laughs> <laughs> A little strip these in front oh. of the port. I feel so good to take off those trousers for the last time here in this heat, I tell you. Wow. This is our container right here. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> <gasps> wow! <laughs> Into the container port! Okay. There we go. Bumblebee's new home. Ollie has to go over the ramp there.
Bumblebee is in the container, ready to go. So tomorrow the guys are gonna come and strap her down and uh, make sure that she's all secure. But for now, our job is done. She's in the container and we can make our way out of here. Seneca, goodbye! Woo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is us leaving the container port on foot without our beloved bumblebee. Merci, au revoir. Au revoir. Merci. This feels very strange. Goodbye. Mm, I hope she will be all right. Because we had some small complications. They wanted to send us away and said like, oh, come tomorrow because the guy who's fixing the bike in the container is not here today. <laughs> and then Lavi was like, no, no, we can just put it in the container ourselves today and then tomorrow they can fix it all properly, that's fine. Just to at least get it inside the container, you know? Yeah, exactly, that we have peace for our mind to know Bumblebee is in the container, tomorrow the guy will come, fix it on, make it secure, shut the door and then apparently the day after tomorrow it's already on its way with the boat, yeah. <laughs> on its way to Rio. <laughs> yeah, just like that, it's gonna be on its way to Rio. That is so awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> Thank you so much to Dudu Faye here at the container port for helping us out and um, making sure that everything is working and that we could drop it all off today. We really appreciate it and uh, everything seems to be sorted. So it's amazing. <laughs> <Whee>! <laughs> Yes, we will make our way now back to our room, to our accommodation. Um, apparently we have to take two buses, which we're gonna try to find now. And yes, that's it from us today. And that's it from season two. We hope to see you from season three on in South America. And also, if you like the video, please subscribe to our channel, share the video with your friends and family, um, comments below. Don't forget to like. <laughs> we will see you next time.